Hello, Travis with Haggy here. This video will give an overview of Raven's Viper Pro field computer. To start off with, upon first starting up my Viper Pro, I'll get a CAN initialization results. This will show all of the control nodes found on the CAN system. In this case, I have a product control node, a boom speed node, and an AccuBoom node. If one of these critical nodes is not found, the Viper will not allow you to hit Start Viper in the lower right hand corner and proceed to start the Viper program. Tapping on Start Viper brings me into the main screen on the Viper Pro. One thing about the Viper for Pro, being in or outside of a job, the screen looks very, very similar. Raven strive to have the fewest button presses from turning the Viper Pro on to actually apply, so I can apply without actually opening a job or an event. Down in the lower left-hand corners, I can see my application rates. In this case, my target rate is set at 10 gallons an acre, and my rate actual, or RA there, is off as I'm not applying. You can see I have nine boom sections, based on the nine numbers or digits there in the boom section. Directly below that, I see GPS. In this case, I have a thumbs up with a green um, circle around it. That's indicating that I have GPS, everything is good to go there. Same with product control. I have a thumbs up with a green circle saying that everything is set up, everything is calibrated, I'm good to go. If I had smart tracks installed on the system, on the box to the right of that, I would see smart tracks there, either with that thumbs up with a green arrow or with a red X on it, indicating that something was not set up. The red X is also possible on GPS or product control if things are not set up accordingly. Down in the bottom right hand corner, I have a menu button. Tapping on the menu button, brings up a menu of different items. Top one on this list is Exit. This is where I can go to shut down my Viper Pro. About will bring me to software version information. Web will take me to the internet if I have a Slingshot field hub connected to this display. Setup brings me into Setup for boom width, um, section offsets, anything like that. File maintenance is where I can go to import or export files from this display as well as delete files and then I have start job. For this example I'm going to tap on start job. It'll give me a couple different options here. I can either start or continue a job from file, um, start a new job that I've loaded from an ag with an agx file or start a new job. I'm going to start a new job. First off it's going to ask me for my job name. Um, I can fill this in with anything I want um, if I want it more specific default it's going to give me the date and time. A couple of things here that are very important to keep in mind. Um, the three check marks below the job name. Biggest one here and you can see it's actually unchecked right now is the AccuBoom control. Making sure that I have a check mark in that box, I can just put a check mark there by tapping on it, is very important. If I were to have hit next and continued to start this job without AccuBoom control selected, um, I will not be able to turn AccuBoom on. AccuBoom is Raven's automatic swath control um, within this job. I will have to start a new job and, and restart. So it's very important to just take a second and make sure that all three of these uh, bubbles have green check marks in them before I hit next and proceed with opening my job. Because I have my three green check marks here, I'm going to hit next. It's going to ask me what kind of swath pattern I would like. Straight AB is fine for my application, so I'll hit next. Standard AccuBoom is what I'd like to use, so next. I'll only be using one node, to, one node will be applying, um, basically saying that I'm only controlling one product with this application. The Viper Pro and Raven do have the ability to control more than one product at a time. Next page I get to is product setup. Um, this is where I can set up what product I'm applying, as well as load any prescription files that I may, may need to apply here. I've got a product of water already set up in this one, and that'll be fine for our example today. So I'll hit OK. Pops up another warning uh, for AccuBoom telling me that the Viper will be controlling the following booms, one through nine, which is good. I've got nine boom sections. I want AccuBoom to control all of those. Um, and then I have options to either open now or open later. I'll open this job right now. After the Viper Pro has opened up that job, you'll see Again, my page or my screen looks very, very similar um, to what it did when I was not in a job. 
Um, however, this is now in a job. I'm now recording my application. I can set A, set B for my um, guidance line. If I were able to drive, I would drive out here um, a distance, set my B, get my AB line set there. can also see my boom sections down in the bottom there are all uh, have a blue box around them. This means that AccuBoom is enabled, AccuBoom is turned on. Um, blue means automatic control. If they were all green, that would mean that the sections are all turned on according to AccuBoom, and thus I would have manual control through my console switches on my Hagi. After applying my field to exit my job, I just tap on menu down at the bottom, and then I get options for close job, pause job, or report. I'm just gonna hit close job. It's gonna ask me to confirm, and it will go through and close my job. So I get back to my main screen. One thing I do want to touch on outside of just starting a job within the Viper Pro are the product control settings. So to get to the product control settings, I actually just tap on product control down there in the center bottom of the screen. And it brings me to my CAN controller status menu. Here I can see in the top left, I have my boom cows. These are all of my boom section widths in inches. Top right, I have miscellaneous uh, speed settings. So my speed sensor is set to radar and my speed cal is a thousand. This is very important to note. With that setup, with a uh, speed sensor of radar and a speed cal of 1000, this display is actually using GPS speed. If I wasn't using GPS speed, my speed cal would be much lower. Uh, normally for Hagi machines between three and 400 would get me a, uh, to a wheel speed sensor. But for using GPS speed, which is generally what I'm looking for, I want to have my speed cal set to 1,000. Next box down, box down is my uh, node settings or my product settings. So this is for node 1. You can see in the drop down there. Um, I have percent off rate, low tank limit, uh, low limit as far as flow goes. And then in the boxes below that, I have my rate settings, my flow meter calibration number, and my PWM settings. For a more in-depth discussion about those PWM settings, please see our Viper 4. Um, overview video that will go into a little bit more detail on PWM settings, how to set those. One thing I always like to point out in regards to Viper 4s in this product setup menu um, is to note that these dividing lines, so here I've got two lines that continue across the screen, each one of these divided line areas is a button. So it doesn't matter where I press within that box, it's going to take me to a page that lists all of those settings. To see all of those settings, I may have to hit next here on the right hand side. So if I tap on next, I will cycle through all of those items. Just something a little bit different, uh, something that I know I've gotten some questions on. So uh, in which case, for example, I needed to change my valve cal number so I can see valve cal right here in the center. Um, I'll very carefully tap on valve cal when I get to the next page, valve cal is not an option. That's because that's a larger button um, and I just need to hit next to get valve cal up at the top there. So just something to note, um, something a little bit different, a little bit to get used to within a Viper Pro. I'll hit OK down in the bottom right here. Brings me back to that main page and uh, I can then go start a job, whatever I need to do here. Thanks for watching today's video. If you have any other questions or would like to see any other videos, please leave us a comment.